welcome to my channel, New Body. I am Latrivia, and I will be doing a general reading for the collective audience. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are a regular follower of mine, welcome back. Thank you for your support. All right, so before we get into it, let me just go over my disclaimer and let folks know that while I am a holistic health practitioner, I am not a licensed medical professional or a licensed therapist. Any of the messages that flow through me that discuss health, health and wellness, um, mental health, physical health, health and well-being, just know that it's the energy that I am picking up on. If you feel triggered or resonate with a message of mine in a negative way, please reach out to your licensed medical professional and or therapist. The same for any crime and violence that I discuss in my videos, just know that it's the energy that I am picking up on. If you feel triggered or resonate in a negative way, please reach out to your local PD or your legal people. So I'm about to ring my singing bowl now to clear the energy and raise the vibration so that I receive a clear and accurate message for you and me. Here we go. Let's get into it. Let's get the tea. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Hope everyone's doing well. This afternoon, morning, or evening, whenever you tune into this video. Let's see what we have. Who is in our energy? What's going on in the current energy? Woo! Angel of Time. It's first card out. It says it's you're working too hard. So someone's working too hard on something. It's card number 40. Someone could be 40. Someone could be born in April. Four, 40 reduces to uh, 4, which is structure and stability. So someone working too hard to create their structure and stability. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Three witchy sisters. The power of three. It's in reverse. So you got three witchy sisters working really hard to what? Destroy your structure and stability. They're working really hard on something. It's card number nine. Nine is about cycles ending, but it's also about attainment and fruition. So whatever they are working on, very hard diligently towards structure and stability it's not working there in the reverse you have three witchy sisters two with their eyes closed one with their eyes wide open but perhaps two of the witchy sisters bailed power three is not working Whatever it is that they work really hard on. Let's see. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Violet. Violet. Angel. Breaking Dawn. They could have been working really hard on something till the break of dawn or... They needed to work hard on something by dawn, by the break of dawn. It's card number 23. 23 reduces to 5. 5 is about change. So they needed something to change by the break of dawn. So one could be 23, so one could be 32. So one could be born February 3rd or March 2nd. Yeah, these three witchy sisters, who I don't think are together anymore, was working really hard, needed to get something done by the break of dawn, and it didn't happen. Fairy of the Divine Hand. Intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. It's in the reverse. It's card number two. 
Two's about partnerships, unions. These witchy sisters wanted someone in the collective intoxicated and distorted and have a distorted view of maybe a union. So they worked really hard to break up someone's foundation and union. Maybe they were intoxicated while they were doing this type of shenanigans. Nah, it says that they, it's in the reverse, so it uh, gives me the energy that they wanted a distorted view. They wanted you, collective, to have a distorted view of your union and your foundation. And they wanted or needed this to be done by the break of dawn. Or perhaps they were doing this by the break of dawn. Ghost of the fairy. Ghost of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessings. Count your blessings, collected, that this did not work. You have a new beginning. It's card number one. There's a new beginning for you. They try to destroy your structure, your foundation, and your union. Either the union you have currently or a union that's coming in for you. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Disruption. What did they say? This came out in yesterday's reading. Trying to cause, you have three witchy sisters trying to cause some disruption in your life to affect your foundation, to affect your union. It's card number 16. Someone could be born January 6th or June 1st. 16 reduces to 7. 7 is about reflection and introspection. They wanted to disrupt your life. With this intoxication and the distorted view, they wanted you in your head, in your mind. They wanted you to have a distorted view of your life or life in general. Deception and envy. It's in the reverse. It's card number seven. This is all about being in your mind and in your head. They didn't want you to see this deception and envy that they had for you. It's in the reverse. But as is the number seven, which is a reflection. They didn't want you to, to think about it. They didn't want you to be in your mind about it. They wanted to disrupt your mind about something else, but not about what they were doing. They didn't want you to see their envy. It's not so much that they didn't want you to see it because they didn't want you to see it as well, but they didn't want your mind on that. They wanted your mind on other things to take away from what they were doing. Accelerated motion. Card number eight. Number eight is about manifestation. You're moving forward, collective. Despite the tactics and shenanigans that was going on with the witchy sisters and their band of thieves. Because there's more than one person. There's more than the three of them. There's a group of them. But you're accelerating. You're manifesting. You're manifesting your future. And it's coming in quick. Your manifestation is coming in quick. That's what accelerate, accelerated motion means. Solar plexus. Solar plexus is third chakra. It's about control. It's about willpower. Energy that I'm getting is that you're in control, collective. You're in control of your destiny.
They want to disrupt this for you. Two. The waiting game. So you have cycles ending and divine timing is at play. Everyone put in their, their actions, they put in their bids or whatever it is that they put in, they're waiting to see the results. They're waiting to see what happens next. The waiting game. It's all about divine timing. And they're waiting to see who's going to win. Whether it's their side or your side. Since we're on the subject of witchy sisters, let's see what the... Evil Eye Oracle has to say. Fake spiritualist. So one of the witchy sisters could be a fake spiritualist. Somebody who uh, toots their own horn about how spiritual they are and how magical they are and how all love and light they are, but they are not. If you're a spiritualist... Your actions and your words speak louder than anything. More so your actions. Return to sender. Backfired on them. So whatever you're doing collective, it's going back. Whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, it's going back. Which is why you have probably two of the witchy sisters who bailed. The seeing the results of your return to sender. Trickster spirit, sudden loss of memory, things in, end up missing. So if you have some foggy brain, things go missing, you might need to do some cleansing. Cleansing of your aura, cleansing of your home, your car, wherever you spend your most time. Cleanse that energy away. Depends on how strong it is. You know, simple cleanse would work. But if not, you might need something stronger. The person causing you negativity is an earth sign. So that's Taurus... Capricorn, Virgo. Check your friend circle. Your family circle. Remote viewing. Looking into your life with their mind. So there are many ways that people do remote viewing. Again, you might need something strong to cleanse that energy away. Remove it from your home. Remove it and block it. Woo. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sometimes things are a little bit, uh, will need a little bit more than some sage smoke. They are turning others against you. So you you have some people around you who are uh, poisoning your friends, your family, loved ones. I mean, I could say if that's the case, you don't need them, let them go. Um, I don't know you personally. I don't know your situation personally. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. 
But if someone is that easily turned, perhaps you don't need them in your life. All right, let's get some more tea. See what else is going on. You know what? Before the tea, get some tarot. Then I'll get the tea. How are we doing for time? Oh, good. 16.42 o'clock. We have good time. Perfect time. And it's Friday. I'm feeling generous. I might do a longer reading. Don't generally do a long reading because it takes a long time. To load. So you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles talks about lack of vision, limited success, limited reward, or no reward. So if someone's out here doing, uh, these witchy sisters are out here doing spell work on you, they're not see receiving the fruits of their labor. Someone wants results. Someone wants work without results. They're receiving work without results. My bad, my bad. Taurus energy, earth energy. Yeah, the first card out was, uh, what's that, putting in work? Yeah, working hard. They're working hard, diligently, trying to sabotage you. And they're not seeing the results. Nine of Pentacles. This is all about money. Money and resources. Nine of Pentacles talks about insecurity. Living beyond their means. Someone spending a lot of money on spell work. Virgo energy. A lot of earth energy. So it says obsession would work. Someone's really obsessed with doing a lot of work against you. Collective. Cleanse your energy. Protect yourself. Armor yourself. Arm yourself up. Three of Cups. Somebody's out here celebrating. Or there's a celebration coming. Three of Cups is water energy. Mercury and Cancer. So are we celebrating the fact that their spell work is not working? What are we celebrating? Who is celebrating? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is celebrating. Queen of Wands is... Aries energy? Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag... Okay, we're not going to be doing this today. Dropping cards. is a form of people disrupting the energy. Negative energy. Trying to creep in. Don't make me get the sage out on you again. Queen of Wands. So there's a Queen of Wands trying to celebrate out here. Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles, greedy, bad with money, obsessed with wealth and status. He's looking at this Queen of Wands. Celebrating. What about this King of Pentacles in reverse? King of Pentacles. Oh, what is this? Six of Pentacles. King of Pentacles wants the Queen of Wands to give to him. He's bad with money. Might be in debt. Probably in debt. Possibly in debt. 
He wants the Queen of Wands to give him some money, to get him out of debt. He wants the Queen of Wands to share her inheritance, prosperity, abundance. Don't do it, Queen of Wands. Strength. Strength in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse is having some issues. Some self-doubt, self insecurities. Raw emotions, prideful, Leo energy, he's low on energy, he's got something going on, page of wands, page of wands talks about lack of direction, Procrastination delays. This King of Pentacles in reverse that's asking for your money lacks direction to make his own money. Lacks direction to manage his own money. He's about to receive some bad news. Or he's receiving bad news. Ten of Wands, I meant, sorry, Ten of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords talks about things being on up, upward motion. This King of Pentacles in reverse is hoping that you will give to him. And that will put him in the upswing. He knows that there's something coming down the pike for him. With this page of wands in reverse, talks about bad news coming. He you know it's an inev inevitable end. He's hoping that things can't get worse. Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups talks about disharmony in a relationship. Breakup. Imbalance. That's why he's coming to you. His relationship's over. He want to be in the money with you. In good standings financially because of you. So he wants to be in a relationship. Because this one's ending. The Empress. You are the Empress Collector. Empress is abundant. She's fertile, not only to give birth to a human, but also to give birth to wonderful ideas. What about this empress? Ace of Pentacles, what I tell you? Ace of Pentacles, boom, boom. This empress is about to be abundant. Gift from God, gift from the divine, financial opportunities, new career, prosperity. Who don't want to be with that? This empress is about to do it. And this king of pentacles in reverse is trying to get it. But this empress has an emperor. If the empress... Emperor is not there already. He's there in spirit and he is on his way physically. The emperor is respected. He's a leader. He's stable. He's disciplined, emotionally balanced, and he's a protector. This emperor is not going to let this king of pentacles in reverse get nowhere near his empress. He's not having that. This is fire energy, Aries energy of this emperor. An earth energy of this empress. It's not going to happen. That's a solid, solid foundation right there. The sun in reverse. The sun is fire energy. 
talks about negativity and depression, sadness. Who is this son in reverse? I know it's not the emperor. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's overcommitted. They're impatient and disorganized. Gambled. Gambled a lot. Was reckless. It's Earth Energy in Capricorn. Who is this? In this negative energy, in this negative light. You have the Three of Wands. Talks about preparation and progress. Talks about building enterprise, overseeing opportunities, moving forward. So if this emperor was feeling down and pessimistic and overcommitted and impatient, there's going to be progress. Maybe this emperor has not reached his empress yet. And he was feeling a little down with this sun in reverse. But there's forward movement with this three of wands. What else? We have the fool in reverse. Fool in reverse talks about holding back indecision, hesitation. Maybe at the beginning, this emperor held back from this empress. Maybe in the past, this emperor made some bad choices. But there's forward movement. What else? How's our time? We're the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords talks about anxiety and worry and depression. I don't feel like this is the energy of this emperor. But all of these cards are after the emperor. Someone's not getting any sleep. Insomnia. Feeling hopeless and depressed. Restless. Sorry about that. Alright, let's get some closing... Closing remarks here. What can we use for some closing remarks? I'm going to use the soul's journey. I haven't used that in this, in a recorded reading. Usually just use it for myself and client. Let's see what's going on. Do we close out with an angel message and have a wonderful weekend? First card out is empathy. It says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Somebody wants empathy for this situation. We have a lot of, I don't want to say negative words, but kind of downward words. Fear, depression, recklessness, anxiety, overwhelmed. Somebody wants you to feel bad for them. Imagination. Imagination says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Someone's got the creative juices flowing. Maybe someone else wants you to feel bad for them because their imagination is blocked. Failure. It's in reverse. 
Failure says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Someone hasn't learned from their mistakes, from their failures. They want you to have empathy for them. Discipline. Discipline's in the reverse. Discipline says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. It's in the reverse. This person... Just don't even go here. Emotional loss. An abundance in, in reverse. Emotional loss and abundance in reverse. Someone's heartbroken because they lost their abundance. They want you to feel bad for them because of the decisions that they made. They weren't disciplined in being creative to create their own wealth and prosperity. They want you to feel bad for them because they didn't do that. Card number five. Five talks about change. They want things to change in their life. They're feeling down on themselves. And they want you to feel down for them. When they try to create disruption in your life. Because they weren't creative. They don't know how to be creative. And it's trying to steal your creativity, your abundance, your wealth, mess up your structure and your foundation. But they want you to feel bad for them. How'd that work? All right, let's get a angel message. 448. Angel number 448 says... If you like this book, by the way, this is Angel Numbers. I got it from Five Below. So if you're near a Five Below, it's $5. But if you go on Amazon, it costs more. What did I say? 448 448 says rest. Take a deep breath in and out. What you need... What you need assistance with is being taken care of now by your angels. Don't fret. There are unseen forces at play that have taken over your cause. You're being supported. They got you. All they need from you is your faith in divine timing. I said that. I said what? Look, where's the card at? Because I know I said it. I was there when I said it. Ah, the waiting game. I said the waiting game. I said they're waiting on their side to see if whatever shenanigans they're doing is going to work. And I said you're waiting on your side to see if your prayers and your manifestation is going to work. It's all about divine timing. Y'all don't hear me. Demonstrate peace today by meditating, taking a long bath, salt bath, or just resting quietly in the silence. The first card out was about working too hard. Angel of time says working too hard. You, them, they, everybody needs rest at some point. If you continue at the rate that you are going, 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 working, 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 you're going to burn out. And then what happens is that your inner child starts to act out in ways that are disrespectful, inappropriate, ugly. So take some time out to rest. It's the weekend. That is your message and I thank you for joining me. I hope that you liked and enjoyed the message enough to hit the like button, the share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.